What's up, YouTube? I'm back again. One of my favorite, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> favorite anime, Naruto, in case you didn't know. But, um, back again with another unboxing. Like I told y'all, um, Unarmored Cleats came in. You know what I mean? Um, and part of this unboxing, towards the end of this video, I am going to give my, um, 100% honest opinion about the Nike Vapor Edge Pros 360, all right? And I do apologize ahead of time. Um, they are doing some type of like spray work um, outside my house. So if y'all hear that in the background, I do apologize. I will try to minimize that um, in the editing. But um, here we got the Under Armour Cleats came in um, September 6th. So, um, Stay tuned. All right, so we are about to get these open. Um, I ordered these last week, or yeah, I wanna say early last week. My Nike Cleats came first, even though I ordered these before the Nike Cleats. Spotlight Lux, not MC Lux, my bad. Um, so it's a Spotlight Lux MC 2.0 um, size 11. All right, so just a generic box, nothing special um, from Under Armour. It's the inside, generic as well. They didn't do nothing special for uh, these cleats. And boom, the boxing is in there. I got the all whites. You feel me? Let me get a little bit closer for y'all. I don't know. I like it. It's definitely supposed to give good ankle support. Um, this is what it's looking like. We got the UA right here, spotlight right here this is what the back of it looks like saying under armor there got the skull nuclear and then the fire flame right there this is the bottom of them here these are these are uh they pretty dope right it says locked in on the tab here. I, I really, I really rock with these. Kind of have like the, um, the kind of double layer, but it's not as open as the Nikes are. Um, so this is the left shoe. I don't know. These are looking a bit narrow, man. I think I might have went with 11 and a half on these. I don't know. We'll see. I will try them on in this video. But um, the left shoe, so it has more ankle support um, for that inner part of the um, inner part of the foot, the inner ankle. Um, I like the material. It's a little bit shiny. This is like a, uh, I want to say like a foam type of sock-like material right here. Um, this will be my first Under Armour cleat that I've worn since 2017, 2018. Yeah, 2017 or 2018. Um, I kind of been staying away from Under Armour. Um, wasn't the biggest fan of the ones they, they've made. I wanted the, the MC cleat. Now the MC cleat, um, that one's a low top and it's more locked down. This is the right shoe, so it has on that inner right side for the inner foot, um, the inner ankle right here is support. So I guess when you tie these down, it'll definitely support the cleat. But um, I wanted the MC low top cleats, um, but they were all sold out, man. Everybody was, everybody buying those things up. Um, 
and the lacings do come with this this type of like um it's not metal it's definitely plastic around it i don't know how to describe it man but from looks these are icy i definitely rock with them like i said haven't worn under armor in a while um the bottoms look cool these are supposed to be great man for like ankle support helping you cut um things like that i'm thinking i'm nervous man i think i should have got 11 and a half in these it said it fit true to size now normally i do do 11s for my cleats uh 10 and a half for my shoes so um we're definitely gonna unlace these to the max all right so right foot is on once i let loosened it up the way it is it definitely um it definitely went on easy being able to have this tab and this tab um they do specify the cleat being locked down my foot definitely feels firm in this cleat um it definitely does feel locked down only thing is i don't know if you can see this because the shoe is so white um my foot is going over it is bowed out i don't know if it's because the cleat is so narrow um but my foot does seem like it's bowing out of the uh cleat like i said man i usually do 10 and a half in regular shoes 10 and a half to 11s my like jordan ones i wear 11 and my regular shoes my threes i wear 11 um Air Maxes, I usually do 10 and a half to 11. It just depends, but cleats, I for sure do an 11. My Vapor Edges are 11, um, and those fit great. I feel like I got great room. So now let me go ahead and tie these up for, let's see how this is gonna fit right here. Look isn't, I mean, I just, I, I don't know. Like I like them, I don't know. I, I, I kind of think of this up part was all the way around and not like this cut right here. I feel like it would be, it'd be icy, but I don't know how to, how to feel about these, man. They, they look cool. Now, as far as my toes in this part here, I don't feel like it's squishing my foot. My toes have room to wiggle. There's my big toe right there. So I have room, that's the extra room space right there, if you can see that. So I have the room, man. The joint feels good, actually, the more that I keep it on. Um, my foot feels locked down. It feels locked down and secure. Um, I don't know. Like, it's definitely flexible, the cleat. Um, I don't know. I'm excited to see how these feel once I get moving and once I get going, man. I need to move, man. My first game is Saturday, so these might actually be the move for Saturday's game. Now, my only thing is, I'm supposed to give ankle support. I would have to see how these feel because, as you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but I have a gap right here. It's not actually snug against the ankle. But I do notice that when I move my foot this way, it's actually supportive right here on this side where the tab is higher. And then when I move this way, obviously I feel some support from this cut right here, but it's not, I don't know. I definitely, this is definitely gonna have to be something um, I have to check out. Um, while I'm cutting and moving and playing. All right, now as far as the vapor edges, man. So those, I mean, the longer I kept those on, the Under Armors, man, they felt, they felt like they started to get used to my foot. So um, Under Armors don't feel too bad. Now I just gotta run with them, cut with them, you know what I'm saying, through practice and um, see how they are. But as far as the vapor edges, man, them. There's so much room, man. I have room in those cleats, but yet I feel like my foot is in control. When I cut, when I take off, everything just feels so in control um, compared to, I don't know 
if it's how they did the ghost lacing, things like that. I had the um, the Vapor Edge Speeds, I believe those were, the ones without the ghost lacing. And uh, I had those two years ago when they first dropped in. They were cool, but um, I definitely didn't feel support in the foot. I definitely had rolled ankles a lot, so I had to start wearing ankle braces and stuff. Now the ghost lacing doesn't have that much ankle support, but I feel a lot stable in my foot and a lot more in control with those than I do with the speed version of the Vapor Edge, um, the ones without the ghost lacing. Um, if I did have to recommend out of those two, I definitely highly recommend paying the extra if you can afford it to get the 360, all right, for your season. So if you did get the speeds, I would see try to return them <laughs> or uh, definitely just go ahead and cop a second pair and get the Vapor Edge uh, Pro, Vapor Edge Pro 360s with the uh, Ghost Lacing, man. And if you even, if you can even push your budget even more, I definitely recommend the top of the line one, uh, the $200 model. Um, really, really great things about those. But if you need a mid tier, that's also going to be great. Man, the Vapor Edge, man. And um, I will drop another video. So let me know below. And I will drop another video, um, <clears throat> I want to say next week, comparing the two um, to see which one's better, if they're about equal. And because um, these were about 130 Surprisingly, the Nikes are a little bit, are about $10 cheaper at 120 So you pay 130 with tax, pretty much. Um, these were 130 before tax, so um, I'll give y'all a comparison to see which one would be better if they're about equal, and it just comes down to whether you want to pay that $10 difference or not. Another video is coming out next week as far as the Spotlight Lux MCs and the Vapor Edge Pros, which one is better. Um, as far as first fit, um, the Nike was a little bit harder to get on, but it feels more roomy. Now these ones, it does say locked down. My foot does feel locked down, so it is doing what it says. So now I just gotta take it to the field, get the cuts and everything like that. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe on this video, man. Um, let me know what y'all think. <clears throat> Go ahead and share your opinion, man. If you've been rocking the Vapor Edges, if you do have the Spotlight Lux MCs 2.0s, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel, how they work for you, man. Like I said, I'm playing the quarterback position. I might also be playing some receiver this season, you know. So if you're a quarterback, you're a receiver, DB even, let me know how either of these feel for you in the comments below. Don't be afraid to share your opinion, man. Let me know. And then, um, you know, the best comment will get posted in my next video. I'll go ahead and add that in my next video, man, and give you all a shout out, man. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Follow my Instagram. It has all my football highlights. Um, I do train athletes, so I post some of them videos up there as well. Um, but uh, it's I, my IG, personal IG is underscore Kev Go Crazy. You know what I'm saying? I will also link that in the description. But this is the review and the unboxing for the, Ooh. oh, you can't even see it. Nah. Or the Under Armour Spotlight Lux MCs. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to give y'all a review of both. And I might even come out with a video. Let me know if y'all interested uh, in the comments below. But I'll probably come out with a video of me doing some speed and agility and change of direction in both of these cleats. Um, so let me know. I can get that out to y'all as well. But um, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share the video if anybody's interested in either of these cleats that you know. I greatly appreciate that. And hopefully you know, my opinion and knowledge will help somebody make the purchase of the right cleats for them for the season. Peace.